Understanding and identifying lines of symmetry. A figure has line symmetry if it can be cut into two identical halves along a line. Say you drew a figure. Now fold it in half. I'm going to draw some dotted lines to represent folding this figure in half. If half of the drawing perfectly matches up with the other half when you fold it, then that figure you drew has line symmetry. Think of the line as a mirror. If half of the figure is a perfect reflection of the other half, then that figure has line symmetry. Each half folds exactly over the other. A figure can have more than one line of symmetry. The number of different lines which you can fold or cut along to get identical halves is the number of lines of symmetry for that figure. Look at a few examples. Here is a square. You can fold over the dotted lines and you will get matching halves of the figure. A square can be folded vertically and horizontally into two halves that are exactly the same. You can also fold a square diagonally along each diagonal and get the same result. So a square has line symmetry. There are four lines of symmetry for a square. Here's another example. Here is a rectangle. A rectangle also has line symmetry because you can fold it vertically or horizontally to get identical halves. But if you fold it along the diagonal, the two halves, while equal in size, will not fold over each other completely. The figure would look like this. The two halves do not fold over each other perfectly, so that is not a line of symmetry. A rectangle only has two lines of symmetry. Now try a problem. Tell whether each figure has line symmetry. If yes, tell how many lines of symmetry there are. Here's the first figure. The figure is shaped like an F. You can try to cut it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, like this, but you will not get identical halves. This figure does not have line symmetry. Let's look at the next one. The figure is a pentagon. It has five sides. The sides and angles are equal. Think of the cutting the pentagon from the center, from the top vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. You will get identical halves. This figure has line symmetry. You can do this starting at any of the five vertices and going to the opposite side. There are five lines of symmetry. Let's count the lines of symmetry. Here's the first one. Two, three, four, and the last one, five. Remember, line of symmetry is when you can fold the figure in half with each half folding over the other perfectly, like the line as a mirror. Thanks for watching.